Hey everybody, so Wednesday, December 13th marked my 7 year anniversary on YouTube. So I thought it'd be really cool to match up my 7th uh, vlog with my 7 year celebration. So first off, I wanted to thank all you guys for supporting the channel throughout the years, whether you've been subscribed for 1 month, for uh, 2 months, for 1 year, 2 years, 5 years. The fact that people could be following the channel for years is just crazy, but that's what pushed me to keep doing the channel, all of you guys gaining all those fans, you know. Um, that's what's pushed me to become a better bassist, make all these covers. I think we've made over, I've covered at least 200 songs. So that's all because of you guys, because you guys continue to support me. So thank you for all that support. So for the rest of this vlog, I'm going to go over what I plan to do with this channel in 2018. And then also uh, just recap everything that I've done in 2017 with this channel. So my goal for 2017 was to do bi-weekly uploads. So for the second half of 2017, I almost reached that goal. That would be, um. 13 uploads for the second half of 2017 would be my goal. I hit, this is my 10th upload and uh, I have one more coming, so that's 11 uploads. So I only missed two weeks, so I've been uh, pretty happy to get on a more consistent schedule. However, my first half of 2017, I only uploaded four videos and uh, that's total, I've only uploaded, uh, that'll be 15 videos this year. So that's uh, quite shy from the 26 uploads for that I want to meet. So. Definitely going to try to be more consistent next year in 2018. So the next thing I wanted to go over is all the gear I've gotten in, in 2017. So this is the first piece of gear I got in 2017. Um, it is the Fender Special Edition Deluxe PJ Bass. Got it in April at Guitar Center. Um, normally it comes with the white pick guard, but they just had it with a black pick guard, which is, was perfect for me because I was planning on switching it out for a black pick guard. Um, I got it because green is my favorite color and Fender does not make a lot of green bases. And then I just love having a maple fretboard with uh, dotted inlays, just like my jazz bass. And this was uh, pretty much a perfect fit for me. And I wanted a passive bass as well. So uh, yeah, I've been pretty much using this exclusively in 2017. This is my go-to bass now. And uh, I love it especially since my other deluxe PJ bass kind of cracked out on me. So this is the second bass I've got in 2017. It is a Hofner Ignition Club bass. It's pretty much has the same configuration as the uh, Hofner Violin bass, which is famously used by Paul McCartney. Um, this is just like a, pretty much one of the cheapest Hofners out there right now. So uh, I just wanted something that sounded different than all my other basses. Like all my Fenders, I put elixirs and they have a very bright, punchy sound, try and go for like that emo pop punk sound. And um, even my Stingray too, that is more like a metal sound or I guess even funk sound. But I just wanted something that had sounded very different than everything else I had. So uh, I put flat lounge on this bass as opposed to elixirs on all my other basses. So it has a very round, warm tone. And uh, I love it. It's just another short scale, looks great, um, plays great. So it's hopefully I'll get to use it in more covers this year since um, it is a gem. And it was from my friends, so shout out to them. It's just an awesome birthday present from them. So I got four new pedals this year. The first one I got is the Bad Stone Phaser by Electro Harmonics. Um, I don't really use it on bass, I use it on guitar more. I'm starting um, more like an indie rock, psychedelic pop project right now. And uh, Tammy Paula is one of my bigger influences. And Kevin Parker uses the Small Stone by Electro Harmonics, and uh, they don't sell his small stone anymore. They sell the Nano, I believe it's the Nano Stone. But anyways, I like the Bad Stone more, so I ended up getting this, and it was only 70 bucks for a phaser, so definitely worth it. So the next pedal I got is the Way Huge Conquistador. It was actually a gift from my dad. Um, I believe these run for about 150 bucks. It is a uh, gated fuzz, so I can get some really cool, like um, Queens of the Stone Age kind of sound. Um, I just used this pedal recently in my super massive black hole cover, so if you want to hear what how this sounds, you should uh, definitely check out that cover. But yeah, just using it also for a guitar for my new project, and uh, just sounds killer on bass. All right, the next pedal I got is the Joyo Voodoo Octave Fuzz pedal. This one, uh, it only runs for $30. I pretty much just purchased this pedal um, to use in my bass fuzz shootout, which I'm planning to do next year. Um, I haven't toyed with it that much. Um, I initially got one of the new TC Electronics fuzzes. I think it's the Rusty Fuzz. I got that fuzz initially as the cheap fuzz, but it just completely sucked out the lows. So um, had no low end 
retention at all. So I ended up getting this pedal and it definitely retains the low end better. Plus, it's cheaper and it has the octave up feature. So you will be seeing this video very shortly once I release that bass flesh shoot out. So the last pedal I purchased this year is the Electro Harmonics Bass Micro Synth. Um, I know it's really popular among those, uh, a lot of basses. You know, it has the sub octave, has um, clean, has the octave up, and then it has a square wave mix. I'm still trying to figure out um, how to work the filter sleeves on this. I'm not really used to using uh, synths that much. Uh, there's not a lot of synth pedal options out there, so uh, but this is one of the most popular. So I'm still trying to figure it out, but I'm going to include it in my bass bus shootout and uh, bass synth shootout. So now for the future of this channel, I'm mainly going to stray away from the traditional covers I've been doing just because I've been trying to venture into new types of videos. So the first thing that I've been really into was doing the top 10 bass videos where I cover like top 10 songs of the artist or just 10 songs from an album. It just gives me the option of covering multiple songs in one video as opposed to creating 10 different videos to cover 10 different songs. And uh, with bi-weekly uploads, you know, I'm not able to cover as many songs as I like. So I think I'm definitely gonna go or lean more towards the top 10 format and a little less from the regular cover format. So my next video plan is to do a top 10 base of the 2017 top pop hits. So that should be coming out December 30th, if everything goes according to plan. I'm also tr probably trying to plan out like a Fall Out Boy top 10, Green Day, uh, maybe The Strokes. Uh, royal blood if I can get that toned down so that's uh, what I'm definitely going to stray more towards. I'm not going to be doing on-screen tabs soon. If I was doing YouTube full-time or maybe if I was still a college student I could put in more time but right now I'm just trying to make sure I uh, give you guys uh, bi-weekly uploads. So one thing I've noticed that is that gear videos seem to be pretty popular on my channel so I, about a year and a half ago I uploaded a bass overdrive shootout and people seem to like that. So I'm planning to do a bass fuzz shootout video very soon. I'm just trying to collect the right fuzz pedals. And then after that, maybe try to do a bass synth shootout. Although a lot of the bass synth pedals I wanted to get have been discontinued. Um, and then I'm also planning on doing like a simple bass pedal board setup. And then uh, once I get that, maybe I'll try to give that pedal board away to someone that needs a pedal board. I also want to try to do a video on how I record my covers. I know people have been asking me how I record my covers for years and it's a pretty simple setup actually. So I just want to uh, let you guys know how I record my covers and then hopefully we'll see some more collaboration videos throughout 2018. So that's pretty much everything I have planned for 2018 and my quick recap of 2017. So if you have any comments on uh, how I did in 2017 or any suggestions for the videos I make in 2018, please let me know down in the YouTube comments. All right, thank you.